A local man's run as a school bus driver is one for the record books. Carl Fisher has spent more than 60 years behind the wheel of the big yellow bus. And as KY3's Jay Shooter reports, Fisher has no intentions, Jay, of putting the brakes on his career. Well, not yet he doesn't at least. You know, Carl's been driving since the end of World War II and has done it all. Weather so cold that engines won't start. Using mules to pull the bus from stop to stop when that happens. He's seen good kids. He's seen bad kids. Still, many believe that Carl isn't just a run-of-the-mill bus driver. He's more like family. In 1946, I turned 16 years old. When it comes to driving a school bus, no one knows more than Carl Fisher. I've got about... 64 years and five months in now. In the Pleasant Hope community, Carl is a legend. In our community, everywhere I look and go, I see uh, people I've hauled on my bus. He's also a bit of a celebrity. If there's a problem, he's always there to help us with everything. You can't ask any better bus driver, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, that'd be fine. To say he's dedicated is a bit of an understatement. Other than a funeral, I've never missed a day. He's always doing stuff for us. I mean, he's. He's, really, he's a sweet guy, and he's like a grandpa to all of us. Some might say Carl Fisher has probably driven a school bus longer than just about anybody. Well, the Guinness Book of World Records tends to agree. I've never seen one. Carl's son, Texas tenor J.C. Fisher, saw a story while on tour overseas about a man who had driven a school bus longer than anyone in Europe. He came home, and he said, well, Dad, he says, uh, this guy had been driving 58 years, and... He quit when he's 77 and says, uh, you got him beat. J.C. got the process started, and when it was all said and done, Carl was crowned the school bus king. He loves the kids, that's all he's in for is the kids, and I'm glad he got the award he should. Every bus he's ever driven, he's owned. I've owned uh, quite a few new ones and quite a few used ones. Adding a little personal touch to each one. Kathy, she's in Houston, Texas. Including the names of his kids and his grandkids. I got the figure another day and there's four of them not on there, so I'm four short. Another school year has come to a close. I don't know what I'll do when I quit. <laughs> but as far as when Carl will shut his doors for the very last time, that's not a decision he's ready to make just yet. I've told a few people this. Uh, you know, a fella at my age and all, I just kind of live one day at a time. Now, just recently, Carl went through a battle with cancer. He had 43 treatments, which took a little bit of a toll on him, but he still managed to drive the bus, and he says that it was the school kids that really helped him get through that hard time. Just an incredible story. What a sweet man. He really was. So committed to the job, and he's sharing some spotlight now with his son. Well, you know, it's, it's funny center. because I've talked to J.C. a few times on the mm -hmm. phone, and, you know, he's just so excited. I mean, this yeah. is a guy who's recognized all over the world. but He's proud He doesn't care about any of that. Yeah. He cares about the world record that his dad got and, and a lot of people in that community and of course at the school uh, and he drives back and forth from OTC so a lot of the bus drivers from other school districts yeah. know him as well they're all just wow. super proud of him and rightly so. Very cool story we'll have it online at KY3.com. Thanks Jay.